Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how you can access class link and also add apps to your class link and your students um, dashboard for class link. So if you go to the CJUSD bookmarks at the top of your screen, you can click on class link on the drop down menu. So class link is a way that teachers can have a dashboard full of quick shortcuts to apps that the district pushes out to you or apps that you add to yourself. And it's the same for students. There's a section where you can push out apps and or resources to our students and the district has done so as well. So I'm gonna start off by showing you how to add an app to your dashboard. So you're going to click on the plus button that's here that says open app library. On there, you could search different apps. Whether you're looking for an app specifically, you can type and search it here, or you can click on the CJUSD app catalog for elementary school and click that here, and there are some suggested apps that, some, that have already been approved and some teachers use. So for example, if I wanted to add um, Book Creator onto my dashboard, I can just click Add, and it automatically is added to my dashboard. And if I wanted to remove it, then I would just go to the app and remove it here. So as you can see when I exit out, there it is. There's Book Creator. Now let's say I wanted to add my own app or shortcut to something that's not on the catalog already. So I can go to where it says add app and I can put the app name. So I'm going to add the Dalmatian Nation Google site. So the Dalmatian, oops, Nation Google site. And I'm going to go to the Google site that was shared with us and I'm going to copy the URL and add the website URL here and click select icon. So at this point, we're going to choose an icon. You can only choose the icons that are listed here. You can also search some and see what they have, but you can't customize anything. So that's the only downfall about it, but we can use what we have. So I'm just gonna select one for now and add the app. So now you will see that I can quickly access the Dalmatian Nation Google site right here. Now, if I wanted to add apps for my students to see on their class link, I'm going to click on the backpack icon here at the bottom, and that's the teacher console. So you click there, and once that screen pops up, then I can choose my class. So right now we have the two cohorts, so you'll choose your, your class. And on the left-hand side, you'll click on apps. And here's where you can add a new app. So you will see that there are some apps already provided for your students that was pushed out by the district. They do have a lock on there, so you cannot remove that. And you will see some apps on your dashboard where that will have a lock. And again, you will not be able to remove that from your dashboard because the district wants you to have those. But if I wanted to add a new app to my students, or for my students, I would just click add new app. And I can search, I'll do Flipgrid because I have my students use Flipgrid a lot in the classroom. I can add that there. So they will have that onto their dashboard. And I can also add my own app. So on here for me, I would like to add the Google site that I'm gonna have my students use in my classroom. So I'm gonna put Turpin's Google site, and I can go to my personal Google site. Oh, let me reload. And I can grab the link from that site and share it for my students. So once I copied the link of my Google site, I'll add the URL there, and I'll click Select Icon. And on here, again, you're gonna to have to choose what's available. Unfortunately, we can't just put our Bitmoji picture or anything like that in that sense. But they do have some icons that we could choose from, so I'm just gonna choose fourth grade and add the app. And now my students have access to Flipgrid and their Google site.